Ever wanted to go in the dark? What if I told you it's possible? The secret is Christmas. And this is how it all began. Once upon a time, a beautiful bacteria named Olivia was living a happy life until one day, a bacteriophage virus came along. Oliver. One day, Oliver hypnotizingly said, I want to multiply my love for you. Will you multiply me? And he gave Olivia his DNA so she could do just that. Suddenly, he left, leaving behind only his DNA and a broken heart. Olivia was ready for revenge. She chipped a part of his DNA and added it to her CRISPR locus through a process called spacer acquisition. Clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats locus is the unforgiving name she gave to this unforgiving part of herself. This chain includes bits of DNA of all such viruses that dared hurt this young bacteria. There is a repeated section after each spacer, meaning it can be read as a palindrome, the same forwards and backwards. It was him again, her ex, Oliver. This was the moment Olivia got to work. CRISPR RNA processing. A copy of the CRISPR locus is made, called the messenger RNA. Three different pathways use CRISPR-associated proteins, or CAS, to slice up the messenger RNA, creating individuals called CRISPR RNAs. One of these is Oliver's CRISPR RNA. Next, interference. Oliver's CRISPR RNA is merged with Cas9, giving rise to a complex that resembles Pac-Man. All Pac-Man has to do is go through all the DNA Olivia contains and find a perfect match to Oliver's CRISPR RNA it holds and then wipe it out so Olivia doesn't reproduce them. But Pac-Man ain't got all day to search Olivia's archives. Well, Oliver's DNA has a code attached to it, called the PAM. Seeing that this strand of DNA has a different PAM than to that found in Olivia's DNA, Pac-Man knows he's found his man. After confirming the match, Pac-Man closes his mouth shut and slices Oliver's DNA into a double-strand break. Now that Oliver's DNA is broken, he fails to achieve his ambition to use Olivia to multiply. So when do we glow in the dark? Like Olivia, other cells out there can use this defense system too. Give your Pac-Man a CRISPR RNA of your nut allergy. Pac-Man will obey and again cut that piece from your DNA. You will be allergy free. Then a bunch of proteins will come around to fix your broken DNA. We could simply add a fluorescence gene and these mindless workers would attach it in the place of the allergy and life would go on. Except you would then be glowing in the dark. So if it's that easy, why aren't diseases eradicated yet? It is possible, but not without fault. We might just be eliminating diseases at first, but before we know it, we'll have designer humans ruling the world. And useless glow-in-the-dark people like you and me. Thanks for watching.